Well, there is a new medical technology out there to help you heal if you break a bone. It's a 3D printed cast that is lightweight and designed to be fitted exactly to you. Medical reporter Mac Ferris talked to the first patient in Louisiana to get one. Serenity Sheremy is like every high school junior. She loves having fun with friends. But a year ago, that became trouble. I was on an ATV and I was driving too fast. And me and my friends saw like a hole in the ground. So she turned the wheel this way and I turned it that way and we flipped. The wide open tissue wounds and break to both bones in her arm were traumatic. She was brought to Children's Hospital from her home in LaRose. I mean, amputation wasn't, was possibly a, an option at the time. It was so bad, you know. Of course, I, I said, you got to try to save the arm. I was scared because I like my arm, but I was just in a lot of pain, so it really didn't matter at the time. The bone is mending here, but yeah. this one's still lagging behind. That, that LSU Health that, Pediatric Orthopedic Surgeon that, okay. Dr. Bill Acousti, along with plastic no surgeons at Children's no Hospital, no performed no the surgery. There were internal and external devices to help the shattered bones heal, along with skin grafts to help close the wound, and of course, a cast. That was horrible. Like Every time I needed to itch or something, I couldn't and it stunk really bad. But now, Serenity is the first in Louisiana to get a 3D printed cast. Doctors simply scan her arm on a smartphone app, upload it to Active Armor, who prints the custom cast and overnights it back. There are waterproof casts out there, um, older, older stuff, but they don't, they don't work as good as you would think. Uh, this thing in particular allows uh, complete submersion, dries off, and can be removed and replaced uh, at will by the patient. I was worried about, like, for the summer, if I was going to be able to go swim or go to the beach, but now that's a possibility. As Serenity continues her physical therapy and may need more surgery, Dr. Acousti adds a warning because of deaths and injuries to children and teens on ATVs. I see some pretty tragic, pretty devastating injuries. To get on one without a helmet is 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 just terrible. No ATVs this summer, you promise me? Yeah, I promise. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Well, for now, the doctor says for children who just need a cast for a short period, we'll still use the fiberglass ones.